feels this week. So like, like Maura uh, said before, uh, Rihanna canceled her Grammy performance and we're all really, really, really sad about it. People were extremely excited to see her on stage. I know I was. Anything she does, I am 100% interested in. Um, she said she was sick. Do you believe that? I mean, according to the Huffington Post, um, she had been an- on antibiotics for three days and it still didn't kill like whatever was wrong with her. See, I um, saw this on ET last night, but apparently like she was fine before the show. Mm. And then just like at, I think it was at like four o'clock. She was just like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Well, she did tweet, hashtag Navy, so sorry I couldn't be there. Thanks, Grammys and CBS, for for your support tonight. So maybe something happened with her, you know, emotionally, whatever. Yeah. Couldn't really do it. Um, She's having a mental breakdown like Kanye. Also like myself. Um, <laughs> regardless, Illy Riri, like, we love you. Hopefully you'll be able to do this kind of stuff again because we love everything about you. Seriously. Um, next topic on the list is, um, so... Did everyone see Justin Bieber's little brother? Oh my god. Yes. So cute. So although the Biebs got um got his Grammy for uh, Where Are You Now, his six year old brother stole the show and our hearts. I think Justin knew that though when he was bringing him. I think that's why he brought him. Yeah. He was like, I need more attention. Because I mean, if we talk about his brother, we're also talking about him. Exactly. He's getting public publicity exactly. through his cute little brother. And that's why we have kids, right? Yeah. <laughs> to really up ourselves in general. My mom says she has kids for grandkids. <laughs> um, but he was a super cute wearing a classic suit with a similar haircut to his older brother. It looks adorable in every photo, but he also looks like he in no way wants to be there. Yeah, he was not feeling it. Like, Justin was, like, trying to tickle him, and his little brother was like, ew. I mean, honest, like, what is his purpose of being there on the sides getting him publicity that he's six what does he care exactly he's like who are these people Honestly, all i know is my brother um but the next topic on your list of someone that everyone should know stevie wonder he honored um earth wind and fire founder Love. maurice white who had died recently due to complications with his parkinson's disease everyone has totally felt it Definitely someone who's going to be missed, but he was on stage with the phenomenal Pentatonix and he sang wonderful song. And they also got to announce the winner of a song of the year, which was Ed Sheeran. Really. Love. And um, Wonder joked about the fact that uh, no one could read the results but him due to the fact that they were in Braille. Yeah, that was awesome, I thought. If you want to actually get yeah, a sound me, bite of that, like him play just this. saying some stuff. You all can't read this, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> you can't read it. You can't read Braille. Yeah, I loved it. I loved when he was like, na 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 na. Um, <laughs> Taunting them. It's really cute. Uh, Wonder then, after that, going on to say that the card actually says that we need to make every single thing accessible to every person with a disability, which I 198% agree with. 110. Yes. Oh, okay. um, wait. 100 and 100 since you had said 198. Yes. So 200. <laughs> I 200% agree. Yeah. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of things that he has accomplished with being in such like a industry that has so many limited things to him. Yeah. And I just feel like we should have more stuff for other people um, that are like him and have other disabilities, you know? I agree. I agree very much. Um, like we were saying before with our girl T. Swizzle. Oh, my goodness. So she had one album of the year. Everyone was totally cool with it. Um Kanye didn't jump on stage, but there was homage paid to Kanye when she threw so much shade at him. But in like a amazing way. Oh, Not classy. like Kanye, you stink. She was yeah. so classy. I mean, you know, like she just kind of said it in a way that really empowered people. And you know, just talking about the speech is one thing, but really hearing her say it, let's, you know, kind let's of hear a little bit of it. Gives you the feels. All right, Marissa, your soundbite isn't working. Mm, cool. <laughs> basically, Taylor. Yeah, basically. No, it's not. That's why. I'm sorry, guys. That was my fault. That was my fault. I stink. No. Now it's going backwards. Give us. I'm sorry. I stink at this board. Okay. There are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments or your fame. But if you just focus on the work 
and you don't let those people sidetrack you, someday when you get where you're going, you'll look around and you will know that it was you and the people who love you who put you there. And that will be the greatest feeling in the world. Exactly, Taylor Swift. So it really just kind of like, I feel like empowered a lot of people. And empowered me right then and there. Yeah, honestly. Like right now, I want to go out and like save the world. Yeah, I and mean, so I thought that was really, really cool and really classy of her. Yeah, she was awesome. She looked gorgeous. She did. So no one was hating on her for that. Um, and our last thing that I'm going to be talking about today that is in no way Grammy related, which is the first thing I've really said that isn't Grammy related. The Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition made history with three different covers with three different models on it. who had three different body types. Yep. I love every second of it. So we have Haley Clawson, we have Ashley Graham and Ronda Rose. Yeah. Ashley Graham is gorgeous. Yes. She is super beautiful. It's, they're kind of talking about celebrating women, um, all shapes and sizes, which we are totally into. Um, Ashley Graham, who is considered a plus-size model, and one of the first plus-size models kind of be featured on Sports Illustrated. First started with Lane Bryant when they mm-hmm. started their whole campaign. Mm-hmm. Um, she was in no way retouched or photoshopped, so that's all her. And, like, I think that's really great. It's just super big for the industry. You know, they even retouch, like, perfume bottles. Exactly. Advertisements. So I thought that was really great. Um, so Graham also wants to remove the term plus size um, from the industry. industry totally agree. Uh, saying that she hates a label. I think that when we introduce Haley, we don't say, this is skinny Haley. Exactly. And this is plus size Ashley. Yeah. We're both models. And at the end of the day, I just want to be recognized as a model. Perfect. I love it. I think it's so great. I just feel like a lot of things are happening in the industry for women and people who are different. And we have a long way to go. um, But I feel like every step we take is 100% necessary. Um, So those are my five things real quick for you that really gave me the feels, really hit me really deep. So if anything happens with you that you feel like I should should talk about in my feels, if you've got any feels, I'm full of feels. (laughs) So I can always find something. But just tweet me at Midday. And let me know what's happening. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This has been awesome. Make sure to come back next Thursday at 1 o'clock. We'll be here again doing our thing. Every week, every week. Every so week. Also, I like do apologize for all of the technical difficulties yeah, that we had. I'm sorry. But thank you to all of our followers who have just kind of stayed with us um, and bared with us uh, through this. We love you guys. We hope you guys have a really, really good day. And we'll see you next week. Adios.